Hiya, and uh, welcome to a, a little demo a video regarding the voltage regulator that I sell on my website. Um, I've been asked a couple of questions about actually how to connect it up, so um, you'll see from the uh, video, this is the voltage regulator. This side, looking from the top, is the part that will be connected to the Alex Moss board or to whatever you're looking to actually attach it to, to regulate the voltage. In this case, I've just connected a simple um, uh, 3S balance lead um, that plugs into the battery port on the Alex Moss board. Okay, so what we've got going on now is uh, I've actually physically connected a 4S battery through the balance lead ports and these cables are directly, you can't see the outside part of the cables here but they're just out of the way, but they connect here so the positive is connected to the input positive side of the regulator, the negative cable is connected to the negative input of the regulator. So you can see it's only the outside two cables that are actually used. Black, red, black, red. Now what you can see is on the uh, regulator there's a little red LED which you can just see in here which shows that there's power actually going through the board and clearly what's actually happening is I'm taking the measurements directly from these points but this is what would normally be plugged into the Alex Moss board or into you know, whatever other device that you, you're looking to regulate the voltage on. When they come out of the packet, these things are ne nearly always regulated at something in the region of about four, just under five volts, as you can see here. So what we're going to do now is I want to take the power from this 4S battery through the regulator, which smooths the supply. Um, you don't need any more than 12 volts for the Alex Moss board, so if you put more in it, all it will do is just um, dissipate more heat. Um, you don't really need to do it. So. What I'm going to try and do here is regulate the voltage that's coming in from the 12, the 4 cell battery and create a 12 volt supply. So the way that's done is using this little pot here, it's a little blue thing, see if we can actually zoom it in a little bit. Okay, just add a little touch. So it's this little blue part here. Now what we're going to do is, um, the way you regulate this is by using a small little screwdriver and there's a little brass screw in the top of this. Forgive me getting in shot here a little bit, but what we're going to do is get the screwdriver into that um, screw and by turning anti-clockwise, which seems a bit weird, but it is anti-clockwise, the voltage will start to increase. You can see on the voltage meter, is actually increasing. Just do it in small steps until you get to uh, 12 volts. It doesn't have to be spot on, but it, being a bit of a perfectionist, I like it to be right. So um, gradually getting it up, up to 11.7, 12 volts. That's it. So now what's happening is this 4S pack is delivering through the uh, regulator a 12 volt supply. That's all there is to it. Okay, there's nothing else. Now what I'd normally do is this disconnect all this, um, the power supply is regulated. This would be connected to the Alex Moss board through the battery port. Battery port. Okay, there is an alternative way of doing this and that is if you do not want to use a regulator and you want to use a direct supply from the um, 4S battery now, um, obviously, if, if that's something you want to do, then uh, what you would normally do is take, I would suggest, using a 3S uh, balance lead plug here, just use the two outside cables, and this is, for example, um, a 4S extension, balance lead extension lead. So you can see at this end is the male with the lugs, and this end is the female, which is what the balance lead would normally plug into. So all you need to do is connect those two cables, those outside two cables, the red and the black. Um, so in essence what you'd end up doing is say taking this plug off, substituting a um, 3S battery 
and just terminate those plugs. You can remove these pins quite easily, if I can get it in shot, by just pressing down on these little silver tabs, if you can just, I don't know whether I'll stay in focus, um, and the leads will just pull out, so you can replace it into uh, a 3S um, plug instead. So that's pretty much basically it. All I would caution you guys with is obviously messing around with this, there's power all over the place. If you short any of these things out, um, you're liable to see lots of sparks and a bit of smoke and it's not a healthy thing to do. So my recommendation is that once you've done all this, um, I would cover these connections, these live connections here with a bit of hot glue or silicon or something um, to isolate them to avoid them being shorted out. Um, all you need to do is put this onto a metal surface of some kind or another and it's going to short these pins out and you're going to get voltage flying all over the place which is um, not good. Anyway, uh, enjoy but be safe. Take care guys, thanks very much.